you're catching the ball, you know, third down, and you know you're right behind the sticks. <laughs> uh, just get the first down. Uh, I'm just trying to do my job for my team. Uh, he threw me the ball, so, like, you know, why not get the first down? <laughs> Coming down to the last play where you had a little bit of separation and you know, not an easy win, but just a more relaxed ending. Uh, I'm not really understanding your question. Mm -hmm. Unless one was, you know, 16 points. Uh, I don't think we were really worried about that, man. Like we gotta, you know, finish everything mentality with, uh, with the Ravens, and we treat this just like, you know, it was overtime with the Raiders. So that's kind of our, our mindset. I know you're a team guy, but how satisfying is it for you to have a team like this? And you feel like you know. Oh, for sure. Like, like I said, but it's, it's really just a byproduct of me doing my job, man. Like, coach put me in, and I had a route. I ran the route. Lamar threw it to me. You know, I was just doing my job. I didn't do anything extra. Coach Dub always talked about just, you know, staying the course. Um, you know, just keep staying locked in, not getting too high, not getting too low. And I've been really trying to, you know, work on that. Uh, you can call it, you know, emotional stability or whatever you want to. You know, I play, put a lot into this game. I care a lot about it. So, you know, I play with a lot of passion. So to just kind of stay even kill, like it's good for me, so. Oh, it was great. It was fantastic. It was just a collective, like just all of us doing our job. And you, you love to see that because, you know, later down the road, they got to respect us now. You know, all the talk on, like he said, Twitter and all that nonsense, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they got to respect us now. It's going to help the run game. It's going to help, you know, just, all, just going to help the defense. It's going to help everything. So, like I said, it's everybody doing their job. Um, John not taking a knee there and getting the rushing record, does that mean a lot to you guys to see your coach behind you? And, you know, you said it means a lot to your coaches and the players who wanted this to happen for you guys. For sure. Like, for sure. Um, one thing I love about the Ravens is, you know, kind of around mid-college just because we're such a family, you know. And things like that show that, you know, he believes in us, you know, and we believe in him. And, you know, from, you know, the guys who Jerry and, and, and Danny who helped me with my jugs every day, you know, uh, all the way up to, you know, uh, Eric and, um, and Steve. So, you know, it's just a, a family from top to bottom. Uh, and, you know, we're just grateful for uh, just to have that atmosphere here. James, I think uh, Lamar's last two games are two of the three biggest passing games of his career. Um, I, I know, you know he can hit teams in a lot of ways, but what have you seen from him just in terms of a guy who can put the ball wherever he wants? Bro, I can't believe people say he couldn't throw. It's crazy, right? Like, that's wild. Like, barbaric. Like, that's like saying water is dry. So it's just it's crazy, man. Like, I mean, he just puts in work, dude. Like, I mean, he doing his job. Like, it's nothing crazy. Like, he just doing what he do. I know you guys, you know, weren't able to activate Rashad and Miles, but them coming back, mm -hmm. pushing the guys who are already in the rotation. 100%, what yeah. is it? What is the future of this passing game? Ah, uh, bro, we just want to take it one day at a time. Keep getting better. You know, keep doing our job. Keep showing up. Uh, keep making tough catches. Keep bouncing back. You know what I'm saying? Just we got a long season, man. First quarter over. We just gotta keep going. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Right. Next <laughs>